Holy cow. I just got out of Hair Arena. Uh, 7.06. It's about, uh, I've been there for all day. Um, that place is huge. It's like the, it is the mecca of ham radio. Um, miles upon miles of traveling. I, mean, I took a break from the youth editor thing, and I'll get to that in a minute, but like, I wish I would have recorded the distance of my phone, but like, the inside area, there's like five or four or five like rooms where there's like a hundred vendors per room. On the outside, there's like hundreds of vendors or hundreds of flea market uh, just people uh, from around the country selling stuff. <clears throat> but uh, inside, I worked the youth lounge uh, for the AWRL or help, you know. Uh, and we had a lot of kids uh, between the ages of uh, probably six and uh, 11. And you know, I mean, most of them were six and 11. There was a lot of like, you know, teenagers our age and stuff. You know that came by, but it was geared more toward the younger, uh, younger crowds. So the idea is to get the idea of ham radio in their head, you know, early on, and and that'll really be a you know a help to to getting them licensed in the future, I guess. Um, and you'll see pictures on my Twitter feed, um, and I'll have pictures up somewhere else, I guess, later on. I guess because or, no Flickr. Oh, I have a Flickr, and they're in their SFC. But that was a lot of fun. We had an activity. We had activities. Uh, basically, the kids uh, went out and tried to win prizes uh, by gathering points uh, for from activities like uh, make a Morse code bracelet. Uh, we did a couple little mini fox hunts, like real fox hunts, in, inside. Um, you could uh, learn Morse code. Uh, basically, have a sheet with Morse code on it and tap out like your name, some letters, and stuff like that. Um. Uh, I don't know, what else was there? Scavenger hunt, there was hula hoop, and recite the phonetic alphabet, and you'll see a video of uh, a video of that, I think. No, I don't know. But uh, a lot of little activities for the kids, and, and they really loved it. You know, they, they had a lot of fun. They were, they were just, uh, you know, they all made friends, and apparently there's a, the group of them come back, you know, every year, so. <laughs> So uh, that was the youth lounge, and so I walked around. I bought uh, these jet stream antennas, antenna uh, ham sticks for Dan. Um, like I said, I've got six meters, forty meters, eighty, or this is uh, ten meters, and this is eighty meters. I don't have twenty meters because I sold out. These were each for fourteen dollars a piece, so sixty to sixty bucks, or except for the, the seventy-five meter one that was sixty or eight, nine, eighteen. So I guess 60 bucks, I don't know, whatever the math was. Um, four, four bands, 60 bucks. It's really nice. Um, I'm gonna go get those put on. I'm gonna get them out tomorrow, and we're gonna eventually get those go, get those put on your PT Cruiser. It'd be nice. Um, uh, but uh, everywhere else, like I was just like, it was. It's just so many, so much stuff. So many people. So many vendors. So many flea markets, and just so many people. So many hands. It's just amazing. But, uh, you know, tonight I've got a dinner to go to, and I've got, like, this uh, nighttime pizza party to go to, and it's just, you know, it never, it's not in until, until, some, until Monday. <laughs> uh, until Sunday night, I guess. So that's about it. I'll see you And see you tomorrow. Peace.